Karen, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I want to say thank you for stopping by. Anyway, I saw this video pop up on my YouTube feed of this artist named Haley Steinfeld. And when I saw this look, I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a pretty, everyday, girly, I'm not really putting in much effort, but look at me, I might be kind of pretty, but yeah, I'm not, I don't really care type of makeup look. Anyway, I just thought it was so cute. I was like, you know what, I would love to recreate this. If you want to learn how to recreate this look, definitely make sure to keep watching. All right, so I'm going to start off with moisturizing my face. I'm using both the Skin Care Cosmetics and Alba uh, moisturizer, just to let them dry off in between, especially this acne-free product. You definitely want it to dry into your skin. It also has glycerin, so I'm also using it as a primer as well. Make sure to moisturize your lips and go ahead and fill in your brows. Now, on this uh, picture with Haley, her, she actually has very thick brows. So for people like that who have thick brows, you definitely, I wouldn't recommend using this cream. I would recommend more of an eyeshadow just to kind of fill in the sprouts areas uh, because you don't want to look like you have a uni brow at the end of the day. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off on a baby wipe and I'm going to comb through with a spoolie to make it look more natural. Now I am going to go back and thicken up the brows just a little bit more, but right now I'm cleaning up with the uh, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Yellow Corrector and Medium Beige. And I like to mix those two together because you know I think the yellow is a little too extreme by itself. It doesn't look as natural. So here I'm going back in and I'm filling in my brows a little bit more and cleaning it up. All right. So now I'm adding on a primer. You can use whatever you like. I'm using Wet n Wild. And I'm starting off with this Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I'm gonna be using this color Buff um, to place all over with this BH Cosmetics number 12 uh, Fluffy Brush. And you can use whatever you like. I normally also use the e.l.f. Uh, blush brush, but yeah, this was right at hand. So it was a little bit eh, easier. All right, and then move on to a color similar to this color in light brown. I'm just using this as a more sort of a, as an all over lid slash crease color to start building up that soft transition color. Because you definitely don't want to go in with a pow in the beginning. All right, and just keep blending this all over until it looks nice and smooth and you get the color you want. Now I'm moving on to using this LA color um, blending brush and I'm actually using the same exact color I'm just trying to deepen it and work it create more of a shape for my crease and I love using this brush for that now I'm moving on to the morphe um, palette it, it morphe brushes palette is the 35c and I just chose that color just to gradually just deepen it because this is honestly my second time using this palette and yeah so and I would have kept using it but they didn't really have like super deep colors um well a really really dark brown but you can always mix brown and black and you can get darker brown you know what i mean so anyway there's a lot of ways to get around that so keep working on building um the crease and contouring your upper eyelid shape because that's pretty much what i'm doing here and then i just went back and blended with that um number 12 brush again just to kind of smooth out everything with no product on it now use whatever pencil you want. I want to suggest use something moist because this pencil, I guess because I was getting down to the end, um, it's, it wasn't very moist and it was very difficult to smudge out and blend it as you can see here. So I would suggest something just a little bit more moist than this so you can blend it out and it looks more seamless when you put the eyeshadow on, all right? And uh, the video, yeah, the battery died so basically I just grabbed the darkest brown out of that Carly Bible palette and it wasn't dark enough so I went ahead and grabbed this um, dark brown from the NYX natural palette and I'm just blending over trying to blend out that black color so you don't see it as apparent as it looks and then I switched up brushes so I could smudge the color in more into the liner and into the outer crease slash crease area because that's pretty much where all the brown colors are. It's near the lash line, the outer corner of the eye, and in the crease area. So I'm going to keep blending that and then building on top of this color. Now I'm using the pencil from Wet n Wild and Chestnut to line my waterline and my lower lash line as well. 
so uh, the eyeshadow will have something to stick onto. And then now I'm just cleaning up the bottom area to shape this more as well so it doesn't look too sloppy. And I'm using those same um, concealer colors from LA Girl and I'm just gently applying it there. Now I will also recommend, since this is more of a powder look, that you go ahead and use uh, um, some kind of primer, some kind of pore filling primer, because powders, believe it or not, they accentuate the mess out of your pores, and nobody needs that. So I would definitely recommend adding something that fills in your pores um, to avoid that look but other than that I love the way powders look on it look very very natural on the skin and they absorb a lot of oil so the last thing you have to worry about especially if you're a super oily woman just like me you definitely want to be spending more time using powders your makeup lasts longer now I'm using this color from uh, Milani it is in fresco and I'm just using it to lighten up the under eye and center of the face type areas because I don't want my whole face to look tan with that Neutrogena uh, tan mineral sheer foundation and then now here I'm just bronzing adding a little bit more color to my face just a little bit not too much I didn't want to use a dark contour color so I used that black radiance and bronze glow now here I'm just adding this blush it is from Mac Studio in Dose now I'm going to add a little bit of highlight now her look is very subtle it's not anything major it's a lot of highlight around the upper hole upper lip and Cupid's bow and tip her nose right up there, right there. I bet, but it's like that subtle highlight. And then I'm gonna set my foundation with this hard candy fast and fabulous. I love this setting spray. It makes everything just smooth together. It's just beautiful. Now I'm going back to that NYX um, color from the natural palette and blending those edges and smoking them out a little bit more. Now this color here is from the Sonia Classic All Matte Palette. I didn't want it to, the brown to be too dark coming in and trying to, you know, smoke it out towards the end. And I'm using that same color. I just using that applicator to be more precise. And then I went back and blended this out some more. And here I'm still trying to blend out that black and get rid of that look. Just blend, blend, blend. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with Wet n Wild uh, Willow. And I'm going to use this lipstick from Bella Pierre in Envy. And I got this from, uh, you can find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Now here I'm just blotting and setting the lips. I use the NYX High Def. You can use whatever powder you want to blot and set your lips so we have more of a matte look and no shine. And then I'm using the Revlon Lash Potion um, on my lashes. And I'm just cleaning up the mascara there. Now I'm going back to that, actually this is a color from Wet n Wild Benny, but you can use any dark brown color. And I'm going back to that Sonia Cassidy color just to smoke out the ends so it doesn't look too harsh. And now I'm using this berry color from Wet n Wild um, just to make it, give it a more of a berry, deeper mauve color. And of course this look would be nothing without lashes. Um, and to hide the glue, I'm just using the same dark brown color to go over the glue and then that's it. And you can find all the products used in this video listed in the description box below. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, so other people like you on YouTube can find my videos. Um, and of course, make sure to subscribe if you want to receive my latest uploads of makeup tutorials and other beauty stuff. Anyway, and if you guys have any comments, you'd like to see any kind of requests, um, definitely make sure to leave it in the bottom below. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.